Hello, Fantasy Faithfuls, and welcome to Fantasy Snapshot, where I'm looking at DJ Moore. That ball again complete. This time for the rookie, DJ Moore has some room. DJ Moore, touchdown, Panthers. Moore is facing the Cleveland Browns in week 14. The Browns give up 24.5 points on average to wide receivers, making them the 14th best opponent in the league with 12.5 yards per reception and 12 touchdowns to receivers. Moore has seen plenty of deep targets over the year with the outside clearly dominating. But there is no clear favorite side with the left being his mostly targeted deep zone and right his mostly targeted short zone. He has been extremely reliable in catching the ball all over the field. The only zone he's below 50% is the deep right and that is where he sees the fewest targets. All short zones numbers are fantastic and what is missing is opportunity. For yards, he's out of this world production in the short left while the short right is below league average. Too bad as he sees so many targets here. In the deeper zones, the middle is where he's the best with the high catch rate that looks really good and the deep right is his overall worst zone. With the Browns in mind, they have done really well in limiting plays outside the numbers in the deep zones while giving up 34 yards per reception in the deep middle, so this will be dangerous. Unfortunately for Moore, the short left is a zone that the Browns have been really good at limiting yards per catch and catches really well, with 8 yards per reception and only a 68% catch rate to opposing receivers. Moore's floor is still pretty low while his ceiling has yet to skyrocket he is just below league average all over here. But with the low ceiling, there is a 2.7 chance of him scoring above it in week 14, and only a 0.7% risk of being below the floor with the boom and bust numbers. And one of the reasons his ceiling is so low is the lack of touchdowns. With a touchdown rate of 3.5%, he is well below the 6.6% league average. And with how the Panthers are playing at the moment, the way they are using more in combination with how the Browns handle receivers, I have him projected for a decent workload of 8 targets and 6 receptions. With only 2 games left after this one, things look amazing for more. He plays the two absolute best teams for wide receivers in the Saints and Falcons. There is no one that has an easier schedule than him moving forward. Looking at this week's situation, the Panthers are on the road in Cleveland, who are a below 500 record team with a bottom 16 air defense. This gives Moore three good numbers as he scores more fantasy points on the road against defenses that give up points in the air and more against bad teams. However, we come back to the issue with touchdowns. He has only seen two red zone targets this year, one he took for a touchdown and one for a first down. Even with the Browns giving up touchdowns every fifth red zone throw to a wide receiver more lacks opportunity with a 4.2% share of the Panthers red zone targets. Based on all these stats he has a risk factor of 73% this week. There's a good chance that he will have one or two big plays but not score a touchdown and get limited yards from the rest of his receptions. And with that I have DJ Moore projected for 8.3 finance points in week 14. He's a good receiver in a good situation but with lack of scoring potential with Newton, McCaffrey, and Funches getting all the looks in the red zone. What do you think about Moore? Is he a must start for you? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out our live stream 12 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday. As Newton throws to the outside and the catch is made by DJ Moore still going across midfield inside the 40, the 30, and finally tackled Hello Fantasy Faithful, I hope you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.